Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome to the season finale of season two with West Brom. As you know, uh, we've been doing really well so far in the league. Uh, we've won every single game in April uh, in the league and in the cups. Uh, but I did play a few off camera. I've played Sheffield, not Sheffield United, sorry. I played Liverpool and then I simmed Wolves and Crystal Palace. Um, so you'll see the Liverpool highlights here. A tester before the final. And uh, we managed to get a shocking win. 5-2 uh, at home at the Hawthorns. Two late goals. Uh, I think one from Dower D. Actually, I think both of them from Dower D, to be honest. Um, but here's the highlights for them. You can watch those. And like I say, we simulated against Wolves. Got a 0-0 draw with them. A bit disappointing. And a 3-0 win against Crystal Palace at Selhurst Park. And we are opening up, though, with the Liverpool FA Cup final. I'm really excited, again, because we've won the Carabao Cup final. If you didn't know, a couple of episodes ago we won the Carabao Cup final. I'm back with a suit and tie as well. And we're here to win the FA Cup final and secure ourselves uh, Europa League football for next season. So let's get into the interview. It feels so weird that only a couple of episodes ago we were we have won the Cabo Cup. Look, we've already tasted glory in the Cabo Cup as well. Now have the we've got the sec, sec we've got the sec, chance to claim the FA Cup. We deserve it. I suppose that's the best answer to give. I think we've done really well. Uh, underdogs against Liverpool. With that in mind, could we expect changes to your starting lineup, but even unexpected faces to be on the pitch. Uh, we'll try to rise to the occasion. I don't think we're going to make too many changes. I've tried to rotate the squad recently so that we've got. The players fit for the match. And uh, you've got a tough looking game coming up against Liverpool. How are your boys feeling about the clash with Klopp's team? The spirits are good. We're confident and I think we've got to go into that game knowing that we can win the game and that we're going to win the game. Okay, and guys, uh, with that being said, <laughs> let's Thank get into the game.
And here we go. They've got a very strong team, but um, it's a very t it was not well, not a very tired team, but it's quite a tired team. And uh, when we played them and beat them five two in the league, that was also a tired team. But Jake Livermore once again will come in for the final. This will be his final. This is probably his final game for the club, and hopefully, if everything goes to plan, and we get a little bit of luck, I think we can. Uh, he'll be lifting the trophy at the end of it. But they're going to start off strong here. Robertson down the left side. O'Shea deals it with it nicely. We've had a. We've got a couple of tired defenders or legs in defence, I suppose I should say. As we can play Brad Jong through here. Oh, he doesn't have the pace on Van Dijk. No. That's a bit of a challenge then. But he's a good defender. But that's okay, right? But six-minute halves here. That's a really good reverse pass. Clivert's got it as well. And he's uh, been uh, flipped over there by uh, by Trent. That's done a while. I was trying to play around the back. It's Liverpool. Fabinho, good save, Kelleher. I don't know what I was doing. I just decided, oh, you know, I'm going to play around the back and see what happens. Bit of a stupid thing to try. I'll try to play it back into the box. But out wide, though. Over the top. Okay. Nice. Brad Young's broken through here. Allison's off his line, please! <laughs> <laughs> My god, we've done it again! Brad Young is incredible for us! <laughs> what a chip! I just noticed Allison was coming off his line there. We beat Robertson for pace with Young. And that's just a lovely lob. And we are 1 0 up. It's a slightly unfair. I can't celebrate too much like we did against Leicester because uh, it's Liverpool. And they def and like I said, they have had a couple of chances, so we can't say we've totally deserved to be leading. But that's that's probably the best chance of the game, in my opinion. It's Mo Salah. Ball rolls inside. Jogo Jota, the centre forward, takes the shot. Takes a shutter. Uh, that's a good one. Shut up, Andrew. Well, they got the corner here. It's Salah going to play it short to Mane. I was trying to win the ball there with Furlong. He's missed two tackles. Good block there by Net Jota though. He's offside this time. Good, good, good. Oh, no one's trying to win the ball here. Furlong nearly gave away a pen as well. They take the shot and they've got the goal that they deserve. No. Like, like I say, it's Liverpool. They are going to get this. They're going to get a goal at least in this game. Oh, I was trying to play Young through with the do from the Dozy pass, but it went straight to the wrong player. Sally into the box. O'Shea did get the block. Good save from Kelleher. Just going to keep running with him for a little bit here. Into a dozy. No! Get it through. Young, please! Yes! Come on! We've managed to take the lead once again. A dozy did lose the ball to Van Dyke, but we managed to recover it quickly. Oh no, not Van Dyke. Was it Tapsoba? Yeah. He recovers it quickly. Three players go for the challenge on him. Creates loads of space. Young exploits that space. And we are now 2-1 up just before half-time. That's... This is incredible. Can we make... Do the domestic double in our first season in the Premier League? That's... In season two as well. Like, we've really got this team going. But I've said it before. We've got to be careful. And I think we're going to hold on to this with Kelleher. And that's half-time. We've been decent. We've been decent. It's but it's Liverpool, so we can't you know be world class against them and expect you know to do anything big. I mean, look at that seven shots to our two, but both of ours are on target. So I mean, we're winning. I I, I don't care honestly. Uh, but I think I'm going to keep it the same in the second half, and then if we if the situation looking dire, then uh, we'll change something up. Hopefully as well, the Liverpool players are going to get tired, even more tired soon than they already were before coming into this game. So they'll have to make a couple of substitutions as well. Um, and they won't be able to play as well as they were from being tired and from the substitutions so uh, if we could just play it out well, not as in play it out from the back of the season just play, play a long period of that's a good touch from Cliver he is in, he is through get it round Allison. oh he couldn't curl it enough no if we can win this game that makes us go to the Europa League 
So I think I'm just going to simulate the last two games of the season as well. And then we can uh, go from there, really. I mean, I might play the last one. Um, but I've, I've got there's no rush to do so. Because like I say, we will be in Europa League football. And that was really my main target this season, was to try and get into European football. And uh, preferably Europa League. Adozi has played it through for Furlong. Plays it across to Dean Garner. Virgil van Dijk does get to it. Oh, we can't keep a hold of it. That's the problem we're going to end up getting is that we can't hold on to possession. Here's Curtis Jones pushing forward. We missed the challenge. Mane has been played through. Kelleher has been absolutely insane. Not, not just in this game. In like this season, he's come clutch against Leicester. He came clutch at the moment. He's coming clutch against uh, Liverpool. He came clutch against Spurs in the um, quarterfinals of the FA Cup. You know, with the penalty shootout. That game, you know, he made a couple of good saves. He's been really, really important to us in our... I guess our success we've got so far and hopefully future successes we're going to get aka the FA Cup final playing it backwards they keep doing that Minamino now takes the shot it wasn't far it was not far away but I think we're going to sub on Badawi for a dozy here maybe some physicality in that attacking midfielder spot um, I'm trying to convert him to an attacking midfielder but he just it's, it, because of his development this season stopped now um, a bit frustratingly it's going to take him ages to develop to an attacking midfielder which is why in the summer we're going to have to consider our options for our players as we can play Brad Jong through he's got to it it's a box for the substitute Badawi oh my god we are 3-1 up against Liverpool at Wembley the substitute first touch of the game and he scores to give us a two goal lead like, what on earth is going on here? Liverpool pressing quite hard, trying to get the ball back. They just leave us in loads of space. Alisson, you got to do better there. I think he could have actually saved that if he tried it a bit harder. But I don't care. We're 3-1 up. We've had like f f four, four, five shots this game in total. They've had like twice as many as us. Yet we have three times as many goals. I think that that's, like I said, it's definitely down to uh, Kelleher being very important to us. Um, he's making a lot of saves. Koke. Oh, O'Shea's lost it. Good tackle, Livermore. He's come in for this game. Like I say, you know, if he can, if we can win it, it'll be him lifting the trophy. Dingan. Oh, I thought he got to that. Salah into the box. Mane. It's a good tackle from Salisu to try and win the ball back. Such bad defending. That's all my fault there. Moving my players about. Not putting them in the right positions. To block any form of shots there. Oh, now it's going to be a pretty tight from now on. Switch one to the box. It's gone far post. Ooh. They need to put a deflection on it for to be an own goal. Won it back though. Johnson. Put it into the box. Young. No. What a save, Allison. Trent Alexander-Arnold, he's just turned straight into him though. We've got three minutes of added time here. Right, get the ball back, get the ball back. Young, let's just take a shot because why not? That's why you don't want to. Come on, please. Please. Right, one minute more. One minute more. It's knee time. You win that furlong. <laughs> Yes! Come on! The Baggies have won the FA Cup final and the Cabo Cup final in the same season. Season 2, we have got so much success. And Europa League football, I mean, Europa League football is coming to the Hawthorns. That's just insane. Let's lift that trophy, come on.
Right, let's take a look at the stats here. It says it's all really. They were the much better side. 16 shots and only two goals scored for them. Six shots for us, but three goals for us. We had four on target, they had eight on target. If Kelleher does not get man of the match, Bradshaw with an 8.6. Wow, he got man of the match, right? What did Kelleher get? 7.2. He's been robbed of it again. He's made six saves. He was really good, though. Uh, but Dowry came on and got himself a goal. That was absolutely fantastic. But Brad Young has done it once again. Was involved in all three of those goals. Just an incredible player he is. Absolutely incredible. Love using him. And can't wait to see him you know, get to that 80 rated mark. Because he's going to be incredible. Look at that money as well. 2.1 million for winning that tournament. But when we get when we complete this Premier League season, we're going to get 100 million or so more than um but sixth is the place which looks excuse me looks most likely where we're going to be um to be honest we could get fourth place i don't want us to i really don't want us to because i don't want to be in the champions league next season otherwise it just goes by too quickly if the season does so i think i'm going to simulate with the second team here they might be a bit tired um but yeah i want i think sixth place is quite good to be very could we do it I suppose we can. Uh, but yeah, a quick sim against West Ham with the first team at home. A uh, one-all draw. So yeah, we can't get top four now. Good, because I don't want to get it. Um, but wow. What an incredible season it's been. Spurs are going to be finishing in fifth place. We get Leicester City here. Need to get my manager out of the suit as well. Don't like the white, <laughs> the white tie and the black shirt as well, but whatever. Thought it would look good. Um, Leicester City, eighth place. We, we've got Europa League football confirmed now. Look at that. Other than Adozi, who's there, obviously, and Gorna and Net, our team is basically 80 rated more and Grant. That's a really good team. Just an incredible side. And we lose 3 1 on the final day. Uh, well, that doesn't matter. We've uh, obviously, like I say, we've got Europa League football. We've got sixth place in the league, which I'm really happy with. We were meant to be getting mid table um, in the Premier League. Per the objectives, which is obviously absolutely smashed out the part there. Hundred and sixty-two million pounds given to us by the Premier League as well. Incredible. Um, other than this objective and the financial objective, we completed everything. Well, we smashed it out the park. Reached around a sixteen. We won the FA Cup. Get a streak of five games out defeat. Smashed that. Signed the first team crucial player to a defender position. Completed that. And he's 82 rated now as well. Salisu, absolutely incredible defender for us. Um, but yeah, that's uh, the squad. I've sort of saw, I know what kind of signings I want to make, I think. Um, I think I'll discuss that with you in the next episode, which will be. I think we'll round, we'll like, we'll sum up what's happened in this career mode, like now. And then, we, but we won't go into the new season yet. We'll wait till the next episode to do that. Um, but yeah, really, really, really happy with this team. Uh, may as well look at it uh, in the, um, you know, when you put the import team sheet, like look at the, you know, how what the star ratings are of our team. Is it of our team is? Uh, West Brom. 80 attack, 76 midfield, okay, and 80 defence. So if we put Badawi into that first, into that attacking midfielder role for a minute here, we do if we do that, and then we look at it, I think that'll make it, that midfield a little bit better um, because I think that's why I didn't. there's some good players in that midfield. There you go, there you go. 80 attack, 79 midfield and 80 defence. That's a really, really, really good team. Like, just look at it. Three players who are not 80 rated who can easily get 80 rated probably by the end of the season. Um, if we can get that team to be... It's four and a half stars. Wow. If we can get that team though, after the transfer window to get a couple of those stats increased by like a plus one, let's say, for example, the uh, midfield. If we can get that, maybe signing an attacking midfielder because we don't have one in the club, maybe that will increase it up. But if we can get all of that, maybe an 81, 80, 80, at the end of that summer window, I think it's going to be really helpful for us in the season because next season, I've got to be realistic here. I think we've got to work hard to get top five qualify for Europe through the league rather than 
trying to get it through the cups, if you know what I mean. Um, because the Europa League, we're going to struggle with the FA Cup and the Carabao Cup on top of that with the Premier League as well. Our December period is going to be horrendous, uh, as we accept the offer of Tullock, as you've seen there. We've um, It's going to be very, very difficult. Uh, but right, let's get to the uh, just the end here of May, because I think most people will, well, most clubs, sorry, will be doing it. Tullock's been gone as well. Long-term goal increasing. Okay, no, we have a... Uh, we have completed that objective. Wow. Okay. We're above target. 92 manager rating. Finishing off the season. That's incredible. Um, let's look at the Premier League here. Who won the title? I'm guessing Chelsea. No, they bottled it at the end. Wow. Liverpool won it on goal difference. Just by plus two on the goal difference. Same. 27 wins. Six draws. Five losses. What? They literally had the exact same results, just different goal scores and different goals against. Wow. Uh, Man City in third there, 77 points. Uh, Man United in fourth, 68. Spurs came close to getting fourth place there. Uh, 66 points for them, 62 for us. Leicester in seventh, 54 points. Eight for Arsenal, 54 points as well. Goal difference again. Ninth, Everton, 52 points. Ten, Aston Villa with 50 points. Um... Wolves 49 points, Newcastle 49 points, they're in 11th, 12th. 13th for Leeds, 48, West Ham in 14th, 43. Sheffield United, I was expecting them to survive after some of the results I saw them getting, I was expecting that. 43 points for them in 15th place. Burnley, I hate them, they managed to stay up as well. 41 points in 16th place. Southampton, 41 points as well. Very clear of the drop zone as Palace, Watford in QPR. I'm a bit disappointed about Palace. But maybe we can rob some of their players. Same with Watford. We can you know, go to them and it'll be realistic to sign those players. I mean, I was expecting QPR. They got more points than I was expecting, though. Um, let's see. Can we uh, We can see the Champions League. Who won that? PSG beat Liverpool in the final 3-2. Liverpool losing twice in finals this episode. 3-2 to us and 3-2 to Paris. I just missed out on the Europa League there. Um, can we see that as well? Yeah, you're ready for the Europa League. Atletico won it 3-0 against Dortmund. Wow. That's uh surprising that they didn't that they didn't get to, I've just done it again. They didn't stay in the Champions League. I thought they might have got to the uh knockouts of it. And then the Conference League, the final one here, Milan beat Braga 2-1. Lovely jubbly. Wow. We're going to be in the Europa League next season, which is pretty mad. Um Jake Livermore's contract expiring. He is going to leave the club. He has left though on a high, he is going to be a club legend for us. Lifting up two trophies in our, in our return to the Premier League. Is Chalaba going to go to a CDM yet? He's got nine weeks. Okay, fine. He'll be next season then. Which is which is incredible to think, you know. He's stuck at the club for a while now and he's managed to win two tournaments with us in the same season. Corner's development is going to take a while. 30 weeks before we go 79 rated. I think he should be getting a better potential next season, I think. Same with Badawi, I think he should as well. Um, but a really good team. Let's look at it right now. Two young signings. They're going to be really good. Cliver, plus five ratings. 81 rated for him. Um, we'll put him on balance for now, I suppose. We'll wait to the new season to see what his development will look like. Grant, we have to wait for him to become a centre forward. We've got a good team. DK, £37 million. Pounds, 82 rated. Wow, he's he's good. But he's just not scored many goals for us. They may as well look at that as well. Look at our top goal scorers. Brad Young with 24 goals. 73 rated. That's pretty insane. DK did quite, get quite a few. 14 in the Premier League. Okay. Played two more games and got five more goals. That's actually not too bad. 14. Um, but for his rating, you'd expect a couple more, to be honest. But he managed to turn this season around ever since I uh, whispered to you guys I might be sending him. I think he's turned it around. He's heard that. Brennan Johnson with 12, Grant with 10. Cliver turned his season around. He took him ages before he got his first goal. And uh, average rating was 6.7. Dean Garner, wow. He didn't get loads of opportunities at the start of the uh, the season. But he's managed to get six goals, five for Badawi. Nice. Cadenas, I have not used him in quite a while, actually. I need to give him some game time. Um, let's look through these guys. Let's look at the clean sheets. It's obviously going to be... Oh, no, Johnson is not there, right? Uh, 15, though, for Mohamed Salisu. He's had a great start to his life, even though he's got a bad form now. Don't quite know why. That's a bit disappointing, but oh well. But yes, I think that's going to be it.
for the uh, the Karimo this season. We will start season three. I think I'm just going to record it right after this one. I'm going to quickly edit it, edit this one, then get into that. So I'll probably be wearing the same jumper and t-shirt. That's okay. Transfers, we're going to get a lot done. I think we've got to make quite a few decisions next week as well. Next week, next season. Uh, but if you did enjoy season two in this episode, please leave a like rating. Subscribe if you're new. Click the notification bell as well. And I will see you in episode one of season two of the West Bromwich Albion Road to Glory Career Mode series. Thanks, guys.